72,000 liters in here, and you can do full toothpaste tractor. Oh, yeah, let's go. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's DJ. Today, we got some new and updated mods to take a look at for Farming Simulator 22. There's also a few mods that released yesterday that were PC only that we're going to add into this video. In total, we've got 43 mods, but that may change by the time I'm done with this video because, well, mods are all over the place again today. For all platforms, we have 30 new mods and five updates, and PC and Mac players have four new mods and two updates. We're going to load up each mod into the store, take a look at the customization, check out the slot counts for consoles, and review all of the mods that got updates. I do make mod review videos every time mods are released on the end game mod hub, which is usually Monday through Friday, but it's been a little weird lately. So get subscribed if you're new. That way you never miss any of them. Starting off today with new mods for all platforms, we have the Plantation from Gamer Designs. This is, at the end of the day, a logging map, but it's kind of neat because you have areas like this, which are, well, just normal. And then you got areas like this, which are completely straight on and very, very much so a production uh, like a real life production of logging. You've got a huge stall mill on here. Everything you're looking for, you're ready to go. Also, it's super early in the morning. Mods dropped like four hours earlier today than normal. So I'm just trying to get through it as best I can. Let's take a look at the PDA right here. Boom, there it is. You got some big old areas right here. But the great thing is, they don't cost that much. It's a full-size map. There's nothing small about this map. As a matter of fact, it doesn't even fit on the screen at one time. But we do get a great amount of stuff to start with. We've got one logging area there. We've got a, an area down here, which has got your store and stuff like that. There is an area down here at the bottom right. However, we don't own this. It's 10 fields total, 31 purchasable lands total. And we actually start off with quite a few lands. But what else equipment do we start with? Well, let's bump in, take a look at that owned equipment. First and foremost, all the owned equipment that you've got takes up 807 slots. That includes placeables, things like that. We've got two 7Rs, one with a 330, the big engine, and a 270. We've also got a Max Superliner, love that. Two Ponzi pieces of equipment, so plenty of logging stuff there. You've also got a crampy half pipe trailer. You've got the Degelman rock picker. We got a cultivator. We've got a direct drill cedar. That's nice. A rear mower, but not a front mower. So you're going to have to overlap a little bit with that one or just get rid of it, which I would recommend. And then you've got the timber runner. And there you go. Those are your own pieces of equipment. And well, here you go. Are you guys looking for a really easy way to do some uh, tree harvesting or you think maybe this is a little bit too easy. I like this, I think it's pretty sweet. If you've never done logging before, maybe jump on here, try it out, check it out. Oh yeah, and by the way, all of your equipment is like all over the place, so good luck finding it. Next up, we've got the Arecibo or Arecibo Observatory Memorial Map. Now this is based off of a real life location in Puerto Rico, and I've actually watched a few videos on YouTube showing this place. Unfortunately, uh, I think it was back in uh, what, a year ago, two years ago, 2020, it says it on the description. Um, one of the cables broke and it actually like fell and broke a lot of the plates and things like that. It was really cool nonetheless. I mean, check this out. So this is it in its kind of intact form. Uh, it's a big satellite, really, is what it is. Really, really cool. Um, definitely jump on YouTube and just type in Arecibo Observatory and you'll be able to find out some really cool stuff about this. Nonetheless, I'm a bit of a nerd when it comes to things like that. Uh, it's a logging map, it's another logging map, but if we take a look at the PDA, you see a lot of time and effort's going into this, like a lot of time and effort. You can even own the bowl, yeah! Uh, also, pretty sure you could do some racing in there as well. <laughs> I think Yo sent me a message this morning. I was like, hmm, I see DJ Goham doing some NASCAR driving. Yeah, we're gonna see what we can do about that. Nonetheless, uh, you've got all that. You do own uh, Field 17, or say Field 17, Area 17, and we own Area Number 4 as well. And you can see the different types of trees here as well. This is kind of cool, kind of neat, kind of different. We've never seen that before. Very, very cool. I want to jump back into this bowl real quick and see if it really, truly would be good for driving stuff around. You can easily get vehicles in here, so that's not a problem. It's not like way up in the air or anything. There's just a little bit of a lip here. All you got to do is flatten the ground out over to it, and you're good to go. <laughs> Actually, there's a way in right here, I think. Yeah, right there. So just drive down whenever you need. You'd be good to go. 
Otherwise, yeah, I think this is going to be perfect for doing some racing. Maybe uh, see if you can put some like buildings or placeables on here. I'd be able to create your own little racetrack. I think that'd be a lot of fun, at least for Farming Simulator. As far as what we get and slot count. So, owned equipment. We don't have a bunch of stuff, but we do have plenty. If that makes any sense. Takes up 634 slots. We got a JCB Fast Track 8330. That's the big one. The MAN TGS 18500. MAN. Sorry, I'm trying to get away from saying MAN there. Gens. We've got two rotten pieces of equipment as well. We got a pickup truck. That's nice. Big crampy trailer. Legal timber runner. And lastly the crappy dolly so that you can pull around that big old trailer with your big old tractor how cool is this this is really neat i don't want to know how long this actually took to put together but i can tell you this is really cool and i think a great way to honor this observatory in farm set we've only got one new vehicle mod for all platforms today but holy cow is it a good one the lizard colossus harvester from chris s and riley s now we talked about this at farm some news a few days ago however it is here and it might just become the one combine harvester that you guys use at least if you're on console this starting off 900 horsepower it's got a variable transmission 1150 liters of fuel 27 miles per hour so it's a little bit quicker than the base game uh what it's based on 15,000 liter capacity which we gonna bump that up and it weighs 20.4 tons if you guys are on console this is gonna be 24 slots overall which is pretty standard for a highly customizable combine harvester. Now, starting off the configuration, we have Colossus, then we've got the Colossus high capacity. So we get a little bit of a bigger tip top on the top and it goes up to 72,600 liters. Yes, 72,600 liters and it's usable. So you could choose between one of those. Now, if you go with that high capacity, it's gonna cost you some money, an extra 50 grand. Be ready for that. Will brands include Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Rustam, and back in again. Now, you can change up a few of these. However, as far as I could tell, oh, no, wait, never mind. Now we got duels on the front. I was going to say, I think we got tracks everywhere, but no, we do have some duels, at least in the Michelin tires. Continental looks like it's just going to be a standard through there. Midas, we do have wheels on the Midas tires. BKT, we've also got wheels there. Rustam. Nada and Nukian. We do. Hey, I like that. Tractor Kings. <whistles> Love that. Beacons. We got halogen beacons on there. And we've got LED flashers. Window tents. Standard. Dark. And back and forth between those. So nothing too crazy through there. And as far as everything else through here. Main color. We've got a Harvest Moon Blue. We've got a Harvest Moon Silver. Rye Blue. Love that. We've also got a pink, which is Tay Pink. Toothpaste. I think, I think you know where that came from. <laughs> We've also got a slime green chrome if you want to do that and gold. We've also got the entire base game color palette. So you get there. Uh, yeah, you know which one I'm going to go with here. We've also got everything right here. We're just going to change this to pink so you can see exactly what colors do change up. And we can make that toothpaste tractor as well. Frame, gold frame, nah fam, toothpaste frame. <laughs> and then rim color, we've got all these as well. So we can do a straight up, what hurts your eyes to look at, toothpaste tractor combine harvester. We've also got a header with this as well, which has also been heavily modified. This bad boy right here is going to be 12 slots on consoles. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? I think this looks sweet. 13.8 meters and it's 10 miles an hour. So without needing any other external mods, this goes four miles an hour faster than normal. I think that's a... Uh, is that 66% faster? Something like that. Anyway, make colors through here. Of course, you've got toothpaste. And then design, you've got toothpaste. And as far as your rims on here as well, you could go with toothpaste. Next up, we've got the Pottinger Puttinger Impress 200 VC Pro from Caster Modding. We teased this a few weeks ago, but I didn't even know this was coming all platforms. This is a stationary baler, but it doesn't have to be stationary. As you can see at the front, we got a trailer hitch with a PTO. If you've got the right or the correct attachments, you can run this in the field and actually like do chaff because this will allow you to do chaff bales which is super cool and that's available for all platforms it'll also allow you to do cut sugar beet bales which is kind of neat so grass hay straw and then you could turn those grass bales into silage bales if you want it's it's just 
there's just so much to this. That's super cool. Uh, as far as everything else, we do have non-stop bailing of this as well. If you just keep that thing full, 250 horsepower required, not that much. 10 mile per hour max speed if you want to run it in the field. We've also got a, uh, I don't know, 120 to 180 centimeter bales. Does all the bales. Every bale. And it's 20 slots. So be ready for that. As far as customization, Will Brands are Michelin, BKT, Bronstein, and that's it. Random foil color, if you've got the correct modifications turned on for that, that will work. That is a mod for all platforms, just random foil color. We've also got other foil color here as well. It does come with some custom colors, but uh, if you guys have the extended uh, bell wrap colors mod, again, mod for all platforms, you could choose well, basically anything you want. Design color on here, we can actually change up the colors of this. So if you was wanted to make a like an all black version, you could. And then just go down here and design, change that to black, boom, we got an all black color. Uh, unfortunately, no rim colors on here. Eh, it's all right. Next is a really cool one that I think is gonna benefit a lot of players. This is the Asaria Color and Range Extension. What this is, it's a few different Asaria Scouts. So we've got a 32 meter version, we have a 65 meter version, 130 and 260 meter version. And the great thing is, they don't cost the same. And whenever you do one single, thing yeah it just costs you one it's kind of nice uh and then we've got an active pro version here as well um this says it runs at 11 miles per hour but i'm trying to figure out exactly like the difference between this one and the base game one mm, not quite sure regardless you got a lot of different things through here let's just go with the largest one right here show you the customization so we have that asaria blue color right there but you could change that color up let's say you're running a cloth rig well we go down here to our main rig Color that class. Then cover color. And class again. Yeah. Not quite right, but it is what it is. And then lastly, we'll do like a, a white color for the design there, which I think is going to be the hoses, if I'm not correct. Yeah, the hoses. There you go. Might be able to change this back to a little bit of a normal setup. Yeah, there you go. Maybe that's that might be a little bit more what you want to go with. Nonetheless, uh, hey, you've got these. So if you're tired of taking small little samples all around your field, maybe look at a bunch of pimples all over the field. You don't have to do that anymore. 260 meters. That's, what is that? One eighth of the width of a normal map. That's huge. Next up, we got the MX pack. Now this pack made of three different front loaders, 16 tools and three weights. That is a bunch of stuff. Well, it says three weights. Oh, there's gotta be more than three weights through there. Anyway, let's take a look and check it out. So first up, we have the A110. This is 100 horsepower required and 500 kilogram weight. So half a ton right here by itself. Mach 2, yes or no? I'm trying to see. I think it just changes up a few little spots there at the very bottom. Uh, MX manual, we also have the Euro manual. So you can go back and forth between those. And then we have a main color for this. If you guys want to change it up, talk about cloths. Boom, there you go. We've also got another piece right here. Oh, yeah, by the way, that's five slots. Then we have a version, a little bit bigger. We've got a fourth function. Not quite sure what that could be. Maybe side to side, perhaps. That'd be kind of neat. And then you've got the Manual X, MX Fast Lock. So we have just different sets of connections here, but I think it works with everything. And then, of course, main color. This one is eight slots, so a little bit different. A little bit bigger now, moving on up, moving on up. The T410, this one's eight slots as well, and has the same customization as the previous version. Actually, as a matter of fact, the U, the T, so they're about the same. All right, cool. Now, we've got a bunch of different pieces right here, and I know they may look a little bit the same but they are quite different so you could set up the different attachment types so if you've chosen one version over another well you can go with that 960 liters and this is going to be forage crops only and it's two slots next up we've got another version here this holds all the things same 965 liters same attachment and we do have color options here as well but again it holds everything three slots ba boom moving over we've got a little bit bigger now 1160 liter capacity same customization three slots on consoles next up is the 245 hdo this bad boy right here everything to hold it all and it's a little bit bigger 1655 sl or, uh, slots uh bits there mixed up we have a smaller bucket but it's kind of the same as the other ones we've got the different attachment types different color options here as well and it holds everything two slots a little bit bigger here this one's two slots as well a little bit bigger 2395 liters two slots on that one 
that's pretty nice we also have the bd 2002 front loader this is kind of cool because this is a feed mixer which is super cool so you can throw on the mach 2 on there we've got fixed ties we got a hydraulic silage grab we've got a mobile rotor which will suck it all in and then you've got a wearing counter blade agitators in there if you want to and then the different attachment types and of course your main color through there this holds 2000 liters and it's going to be five slots then we have a little bit larger version but it's still 2000 liter capacity but another feed mixer there then then we get into some smaller stuff so we have a set of pallet forks these are going to be two slots we got a bell fork this is also two slots we got a bell grab two slots right there another bell grab this was bigger three slots then another bell grab this one is kind of interesting because you could change up kind of how it runs there's a lot to this this thing is absolutely insane and it scares me it's like something in my nightmares moving on we've got some more bell grabs for you guys right through here this one's just a little bit different four slots a little bit bigger here now four slots for that one is a little bit bigger still four slots so it's not too bad and then we get into our weights which are a little bit higher it's six slots each and then we've got some massive massive extensions on here different things through there they're all the same it just changes it up a little bit and then lastly we have a uh, multi-mass right here and then we had a multi-box whole lot of stuff through there choose what you like the mx pack man that's a lot of stuff next up we've got a manure and slurry drag hose spreader this is the farm tech poly size 1550 this sells well 15,000 50 liters it's also seven tons 165 horsepower is required for it so not too bad 15 meter spread pretty good there nine miles per hour not bad at all it also says that it has a adjustable width between 15 and 12 meters so that's kind of nice and it is 11 slots on consoles will brands include trailer we also have michelin tires which hang on those look great uh we also have bkt tires Verizon midas knock in and back in again we can change up a few of these but nothing too crazy we've also got oh yeah that's crazy like that stickers well we got stickers small and stickers big can't take them off under ride protection you can throw that on if you'd like this is going to be on the back side distribution system so we have drag hose we also have a swivel distributor and back to the drag hose again now it doesn't say but i'm guessing the swivel is the 12 meter spread we also have John Deere manure sensing if you guys have precision farming turned on, which I do right now. Normally, I do not, though. And then we have rim colors. We have all four of those custom rim colors right there that I love to see. And then all the base game stuff. Next is the New Holland Verifeed 30 from STV Modding. This is 9.2 meters at 6 miles per hour. And then we've got a couple different designs here as well. So on the side, you can make this black or blue. It is uh, seven slots on console, so not too bad there. Now, it says that it's here to work with the CH770, and it's 9.2 meters. But I can't remember exactly what the base game one runs the base game one's 8.5 so this is actually a little bit bigger so hey maybe you want that check it out next up we got the international 37 which is just a case disc hero very small three meters 11 miles per hour 25 horsepower required 1.5 ton or 1.2 tons and red is the way to go next up lizard hfp 23 this bad boy is a uh what's well, a pusher is what it is capacity 200 250 300 liters and um yeah basically you get in your feed areas with this and then you could just push all that food off to the side attachment telehandler front loader wheel loader skid steer everything you're looking for you got it We've also got some custom colors on here as well. We'll throw in a little bit of blue like that, yeah. There's really not much to it. Two slots, very cool. Next up, another disc cover, the B32D. This one is a little bit bigger, 3.4 meters. We have 70 horsepower, nine miles per hour, 1.3 tons at three slots. And we've got, well, yellow, blue, black, green, and red next up we got the skoma tst pack for vertex design if you're getting a little bit of deja vu well don't worry because this pack released for pc and mac players a few days ago and now it is here for all platforms however it's a different version completely so if you guys are on pc and you want to play with people who are on consoles or maybe you're doing crossplay stuff well this is the version you need to get uh, if you go into your zip file it'll say crossplay or multiplayer or something like that and you can delete 
the other one. Um, as far as I can tell, it's exactly the same. I'm sure there's a few little pieces here and there that are a little bit different. However, I can't find them. Also, one thing it does say in the description of this, the takers offer many different overloading options with one hose connection on each side, pivoting connection, rear and two, yada, yada. Anyway, those hose connections, they don't work with the pumps and hoses DLC. So they're not hose connections. They're just decoration like literally everything else. With that out of the way, let's take a look at the customization. The first one, 26,000 liter capacity. That's going to be for slurry and digestate. 8.7 tons, 200 horsepower. You got Michelin, BKT, Continental, and Lizard tires. We'll set up so you can change those as well. Fill arm, so you got a fill arm on the top, fill arm on the side, both of them or none of them. Fenders, we have default narrow, default wide road back in reflectors yep that's gonna be on the back right there logo so we have the new one and the old one design we have black and green and then you can change those rim colors between those four main colors now we've got a tanker that's exactly the same just without the dolly on the front and we got the dolly itself which can be customized to match perfectly with everything else so you can have one version with a dolly one version without a dolly that you use with a semi truck or you can just get this dolly if you like this dolly hey that's all right as far as slot counts for everything goes it's going to be 21 slots 17 and 7. here's a cool mod that we talked about in farm sim news this is the rear platform mod from gnfs so configs on this so we've got a normal one we've got design number one which by the way this doesn't hold anything it's just enclosed we also have design two which removes the back design three which removes the sides design four which adds a uh, support beam five which has sports on the side and then nada and then we have these specific colors that you could choose from otherwise that's eh, all good um the wood is very shiny it's it's kind of like it's a laminate instead of a normal wood i like this i think it's really cool i think stuff like this makes getting around your farm maybe a little bit easier hooks up via three point and it does have uh, straps so that's nice next up we have the lizard agri 5m and i'm pretty confused about what this actually does in the game they say that this is used to uh, harvest the bed of rice straw preventing regrowth and the spread of red rice um as well to decompose other things rolling operation must be carried out during or after the rain with the crops still irrigating what <laughs> We don't, we don't have any of that in Farming Simulator. Anyway, it requires 100 horsepower, 5 meters, 9 miles per hour. Uh, I'll show you guys a couple pictures that pulled up while I was looking at it. Here you go. I believe this is what they're referring to. I'm guessing that this is just a mulcher or something like that. I think that's all this really does in Farming Simulator. Next up, we've got this machine. This is the Art PTR. Oh, this bad boy right here is a basically a stationary PTO piece of equipment. It provides 405 horsepower, 240 liters of fuel it holds, weighs two tons. Configs, we got an extension on there, which will provide no extra power, but meaning that it will actually get more fuel, or you can run this on, uh, what was that, methane, CNG, uh, gas there you go uh chassis color we could change that up cover color we could change that up extension color of course you can change that up and then rim colors well they gotta be green don't they next up yes we're still doing new mods for all platforms there's a lot to say the kr 2.1 subsoiler 100 horsepower 2.1 meter we're going with six miles an hour here's your color palette Boom. Next is a tether, a small tether. Nice for some older farms. This bad boy, 35 horsepower required, 2.8 meters at nine miles an hour. Cover, so we've got a couple different cover options right there for the PTO. Main color, we've got red, green, and blue. So we'll go with a bright green there for the main. Design, we'll stick that to a red. And then rim colors, of course, they always have to be blue, don't they? No, uh, they don't. I don't know what co what colors are rims. Next is kind of a cool mod. This is the field silos mod. So as you can see, we've got grass around with a few tire options. However, when we turn everything on and we come in the middle, you see compacting 0%. This is because these are actual silos. They're just flat on the ground. Easy to find as well. All you got to do is go into buildings, go into silos. If I can click the right thing and you'll find them right here. So we've got basically two different versions with different colors and then we've got concrete and dirt but different setups all together here very cool very neat kind of design right here curious how they delete as well um well they do delete but they do leave that grass behind so 
expect that. Next placeable for all platforms today is the Modern Garage, which is a garage in a modern and old European style. So let's take a look. The doors open up very, very quickly. I like that. Boom and boom. Only one thing right there. Nice. So one kind of opens up all the way forward. One opens up kind of a little bit back. So you could put this against a wall and be totally fine. Coming around here, we've also got another smaller area. Ba boom, ba boom. Which opens up a little bit slower as well. Nice area through there. Open this up. It will open, but I'm all the way down. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to hit my head. Nope. Nope. We're good. Another workshop. So that's cool, but it's not usable for anything, at least in the game. We've got a door here which can be entered, but my head hits the top. Um, doesn't look like we have a sleep trigger or anything like that either, and it doesn't say that we should, so I guess there is that. There is an area up top, and I wonder, can I get up here? Yes, yes I can. Boop, drop it down. Yeah, we're in. That was easy. Cool. Can't really do anything though, can ya? <laughs> Let me out. Next up, we got a shop. This is, well, the shop. At the farm shop, you can sell your own products. For example, milk, eggs, wheat, etc. Costs you $1,000. Upkeep's 10 bucks per day. It's a three meter by three meter size. And there's one door which can open. We can open that up and kind of see all of the different types of things that can be sold here, which is kind of nice. You can also see what it would sell if you go into productions, you go to selling points, you go here right to the end. So this is going to tell you exactly what you could sell and it'll cycle through everything as well. I wonder if it'll do every crop, everything. I'm starting to, I mean, kind of seeing everything. It looks like it'll only sell a few of the standard uh, crops that we've got in the game, but otherwise very cool mod next up is the small wooden chicken coop with enclosure this bad boy right here will hold 25 chickens and here of course you can see where you put your food where you buy the chickens themselves right there doesn't look like this door opens at least i'm not able to get it opened and a nice little way around not too bad uh, it does not uh let's see oh eggs over here that's where your eggs go. I can tell. Look, that's where they go. Now, you may know, you may not, but I am absolutely obsessed with fences in the game. And we've got a new pack of pack of fences with eight different setups. Ooh, that one looks pretty good. You can kind of make your own uh, mansion or something with that one. That'd be all right. Just kind of going through so you guys could see every little thing right through here with a pack of fences. Oh, those look pretty good, too. This one kind of looks like if somebody made a really bad mod in uh, Grand Theft Auto, but in Farm Save, it looks great. Bam. There you go. There is your pack of fences. Man, these look really good. Next up, we have the old grain storage. Now, one of these is different from the other. So one has one door. I imagine it's going to be this one right here. Old grain. I tell you what, the uh, concrete on concrete on concrete Kind of messes with your head a little bit. Also, it looks like you have to open both doors. I'm not a fan of that, but you may be. So that's kind of cool. And then the second version adds a door here on the very end. So we've got one on the very end, one right here. Not too bad. Easy to find as well. Buildings and in sheds. Next up, we got a farmhouse. The farmhouse, as a matter of fact, a residential house with a sleeping function and decoration. That's about it. You can't go in this, can't do anything with it. The only interaction that you can have with it is actually the, uh, well, the sleeping trigger. Can't even change clothes. Next up, we have the Irish Round Shed. This is a traditional shed in Ireland. Price is 10,500 bucks, 10 bucks per day, 19.2 meters by 6.7 meters. And it is about six meters tall. So you'll be able to fit some stuff in here. Large tractors shouldn't have a problem with uh, combine harvesters. Maybe uh, small ones or look elsewhere. Next up, we've got a bakery. Very, very standard bakery producing bread and cakes. 30 grand, 100 bucks per day to keep it up. Let's jump in and we will take a look at the factory itself. See what we can get into here. So uh, two flours and one bread and then we can make a cake. So really nothing different, crazy or out of the ordinary here. And the inputs are all pretty standard. I would say even maybe a little bit small on the input side, but not too bad. A few days ago, we received the BIN 500 pack, which is the B-I-N, and today that modder has rebranded them into Lizard so that they could work for consoles as well. So if you guys were looking for some uh, debranded BIN stuff, well, 
Here you go. We have uh, three different ones. So we've got the uh, grain silos that run through. We've even got an extension as well. At least we did in the bin version. Yep, right there. Ba -boom, ba -boom. Turn on free build so I don't have to repaint everything up here. So your uh, extension is going to be 100,000 liters as far as your silos go. Here we go. Let's see if we can find them out. There we are. There we go. Here we go. So you've got your silos, 500,000 liters, 1 million liters, and 2 million liters but like i said the extension did i choose the right extension silos 500 yeah only a hundred thousand liters here i believe it was a little bit larger in the other one but still not too bad it's right there not too bad back in the fences again we've got the concrete fence po2 so here is your concrete fence and then we've also got a swinging gate for the concrete fence as well only these two pieces so nothing else i do kind of like that if you guys are doing like a construction bit or something like that maybe something old like a pgr style type thing there you go looks pretty good only thing is uh it's magic and magic's not real oh and it turns out there's a whole totally different design on the other side as well there you go here's on the other side too so flat on one side um corrugated no that's not the right word i don't know what the right word is but it's different next up we have a placeable but it comes with some vehicles i want to show those off first this is the urea production now urea is uh it's, it's not what it sounds like uh it is also known as carbamide it's a safe useful compound with significant history or so google says it also can be used to treat skin uh, conditions and nail conditions Kind of neat, kind of different. Anyway, uh, these tankers hold that stuff. Yeah, now it'll also hold 150,000 liters of that, which is kind of nice, or 100,000, or 50, or 32. They gave us a couple different options, which is kind of nice. Plus, as you can see, holds all liquids down there on the bottom as well, which is kind of cool. So here are our placeables that we get with Urea Production. So it's going to be slurry in, as you can see right here. So 1 million liter capacity, and then... 100,000 liters of urea out. It uh, doesn't look like it produces it in... Yeah, definitely not producing it in pallets. So you're going to need those trailers. And then you've got a place right here where you can use it to store. Now, this capacity, I think it's 10 million liters, something like that. It's either 1 million or 10 million. There's too many zeros on there. So you can use that for storage if you would like. Um, it's not a capacity. It's not... It, hang on. Oh, you can actually buy it as well. Ooh, that's a lot. Yeah, it holds 10 million liters. Uh, $9,350,000 to fill it up, if you would like. Um, yeah, so there you go. Um, also, uh, this could either be sold directly through the production or at their wholesale mod, uh, which is also their mod, Zotosite mod. And our last new one for all platforms today, can you believe it? We made it. The Brick Shed. This bad boy is going to cost you $25,000. So let's open it up right here. Ba-boom. Ba-boom. That one's slow. Uh, you've got a two drive through three drive throughs here. And then we've got one big old area right here on the very end. That opens up quickly. And that opens up quickly. So that's kind of nice. So uh, three doors on the front. Three doors on the back. One door on the side. As far as mod updates go for all platforms, there's really not a bunch of them. So let's start off with Riverview Farm from Cavalier Roy version 1.1. 1. 1. Uh, they've 1.1, 1. 1? it's 1.2. Uh, grazing mod compatibility for PC and Mac only. And uh, Susnick's uh, Relight Environment implemented. Uh, this is save game compatible. So you're all good there. We also got an update to the Lost Corner version 1.2. Removal of fences, changed the sample mod, and removed unnecessary ground textures. How's about an update to the Lizard LZ150? I love this mod. Version 1.1, 1. 1, they've adjusted the sounds, added new colors, new tires, designs, mirrors passenger sport which does require the Kubota DLC and fix the belt lock bug. Lizard Cultivator 2.5 Elm got an update to version 1.0.1. They've added AI agent and changed the description version. And the Composter from Zotalzog got an update to version 1.002. Translation of production lines have been approved and ash can now be composted. Making our way over to PC and Mac only mods today, we've got Green Hills Estate. So this is located in the heart of the English countryside has been left as a pasture land for many years. Now that the land is being sold for farmland, local landowner 
and neighbor have some fields that they would like to sell. Uh, also, there's some that have contracts, which is kind of cool. And you can see most everything is split up by all of this extra land. Very, very neat. If, if you had some <laughs> some custom uh, uh, cow, or pe cow pastures, well, cow pastures would work. Uh, sheep pastures, a lot of sheep on here would be cool. Uh, at the end of the day, it's kind of a boring map kind of is what it is it's not meant to be anything crazy or wild uh it is pc only which is really confusing because well there's nothing here <laughs> to even not put on console so i have no idea maybe the modder only wanted it on pc who knows but uh you've got an opportunity here to kind of build on and do what you need to do a lot of a lot of a uh, lot of opportunity here we do have other areas around so we have like warehouse productions we got a warehouse different areas through there the animal dealer swinging around through here of course we got the shop and farmers market so you got selling points buying points things that you need you've got you even got a sawmill up there as well uh, as far as vehicles go i think everything that you own is here at the shop there's really not a lot, but do you need a lot? I don't think so. Let's take a look at it. So we got the Massey 7720S. We got the Deutz Far Top Liner. We got the Klaus Carrot. We've also got a header, a plow, direct drill, fertilizer spreader, which is nice, header trailer, and a weight. I can't really think of anything else that you need, at least starting off. Hey, check this out. Kind of a cool map. Next new one for PC and Mac players is the Moe Mo, 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 Dolph X11. Uh, this is a slurry and digestate spreader, 11,000 liter capacity. It's got a 120 horsepower required, 7.3 meters. Uh, doesn't say anything about spread width. So, no, can't tell you. Oh, online it says it, 15 meters. Wonder why that's it in game. Anyway, get a couple different tire options through here, but that's about it. Seeds and fertilizer since 2022. Right now, this is a seed and fertilizer storage and uh, PC Mac yeah, only. Fill trigger, it's marked very, very clearly right there. Uh, you get everything that you need right through there. I thought I saw, yeah, you could open these up, which I think is kind of cool. Check that out. That's awesome. Hey, I like that. Um, total capacity is 450,000 liters. Capacity for seeds is 150. Capacity for solid fertilizer is 150. And capacity for liquid fertilizer is 150,000 liters. And your last new one for PC and Mac players today. There was one that was removed, but I have no idea which mod it was. So I'm not even going to try and piddle with it. Uh, this is the small, long building. Yep, small, long building. Um... I'm not saying it's not useful. However, uh, if you're not using hand tools, which as we know, there's not a lot of them. I think there's a modder working on a pack right now, but um, yeah, not really, not really an ability through there. Uh, let's see, let's turn on flight mode, see if we can get this open. Uh, obviously I have to turn on flight mode because there's no other way to get up here other than a tell handler or something like that. Um, it's doable, yeah, it's neat, yeah. A little different though, that's about it. Finally, making our way into mod updates for PC and Mac players. Today, we only have a couple. First is production revamp version 1.3.1.4. They fixed the new productions and pumps and hoses DLC. And lastly, a mod that came out yesterday, the Macaulay Low Loader update version 1.001. Fix the incorrect naming. Well guys, that is it. That is finally it for today's new mod video. I'm pretty sure this took me close to two hours to prepare. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like. Get subscribed if you're new. Join the GoHam fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. It's Friday and it's Fact Sheet Friday. So we've got Fact Sheets for the upcoming Platinum DLC coming out. Check out that video if you haven't seen it already. Otherwise, hope you have a good one. See you guys later. Peace.